Yeah, well, yeah. welcome everybody to One Million Cups of Peoria. My name is Eric Sampson. I'm with Edgewater Trading. And I'd like to give a little shout out here to Coaset and the Jump uh, Simulation and Education Center for giving us the opportunity to utilize this fantastic, fantastic facility. Um, I would also like to shout out to Aisha Thomas, Raphael, and Sarah Wellborn. And also Ross and Kevin from the Illinois SBDC for participating and supporting our endeavors. So, One Million Cups was founded in 2012 as part of the Kaufman Foundation in Kansas City's uh, attempt to encourage the fostering of an innovative and entrepreneurial society that benefits uh, all of the different citizens of, of different communities. So, Peoria is actually on the map as the 11th One Million Cups uh, community. So we got in on this very early on, and we're thrilled to be part of it. So today we're going to have presentations from Tim Johnson of Widecast, and also uh, from Ashley Thomas of Cooking TV. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce Jake Hammond, who has some exciting things going on in terms of uh, Peoria innovation. So Jake, why don't you come up and tell us a little bit about what's going on? All right, thank you. Morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Jake. If you don't know me, I think. Probably about half the room I know. So uh, back in the day, uh, myself and Randon, who's no longer here in Peoria, uh, and Amy Lambert started began Startup Peoria. And actually one of our first programs that we did was One Million Cups back in the little small room in 3030 Coffee um, downtown. So it's been, I don't know, five years ago, something like that. So anyhow, what I'm here to just talk about quickly today, launching a new initiative called the Peoria Innovation Alliance. Uh, really to try to bring some more attention, not just regionally, but nationally, to all the good stuff we've got going on here in the Peoria region. Um, we're going to be holding an event uh, May 1st. If you haven't seen it already on social media, you probably will sometime soon. Um, so we're doing a launch event down in the Warehouse District at the new venue, Chiska. Um, we're going to have probably six or seven uh, companies set up, uh, Enduvo, uh, and NFW, Bump Boxes, I'm um, going to have Tim participate from Peoria Life. Um, so we're going to essentially introduce our community leaders and everything to a lot of the activity that some people may or may not know that's going on here in the region. Uh, we're bringing in also a friend of mine, Trey Bowles, who's the head of the Dallas Entrepreneur Center and Dallas Innovation Alliance. He's going to speak. Um, Greg Batten from WMBD is going to MC the event. So we'll have hors d'oeuvres and drinks and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, really, it's just this kickoff. We're kind of try trying to call this a movement around um, repositioning our region and really highlighting all the good stuff that we have going on uh, and trying to turn it more of a positive tone. So, hope that you can join us. I'll probably be back up here um, next month. It just so happens it's the day of the event. Uh, probably might have Trey with me to say a couple words. Um, they also do One Million Cups down in, down in Dallas uh, at the center that he started. So. Uh, yeah, May 1st, put on your calendar, 6.30 to 9, uh, down in the Warehouse District. There's tickets, if you find it on social media, uh, you get tickets through Eventbrite and uh, RSVP that way. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll be around uh, the rest of today, So, and you can find me, like I said, on social media pretty easily. So thank you. Very good. Thank you, Jake. Yes, sir. All right, well, with, uh, without further ado, we'll uh, let Tim Johnson take it away and tell us all about Whitecast. Hello. It's not very often I get to be on this side of the microphone, so um, we'll run through some things here. Uh, so you have an idea. You have a business idea. You think it's a good one. It's one you love. And you start marketing. You start finding a few handfuls of people that love what you do, and you've started a little bit of a fire in your corner of your neighborhood. But why stop there? Why limit yourself to that corner? Why not harness the power of community? At Widecast, we help ignite enthusiasm uh, for what our neighbors are doing. For a very small investment of time and money, uh, you can utilize the community to multiply what you do and help you shine as the expert in your field. And community is really what we do, harnessing that to create Widecast. My name is Tim Johnson. Um, I'm a realtor and a longtime resident of the Peoria area. I'm a community builder. 
why can't it start it with one idea? About eight years ago, I partnered with a mortgage lender uh, and to create a radio show on WMBD called In the Neighborhood. We talked about Peoria and its organizations, uh, some of those that we had volunteered for ourselves. And my partnership with Stacy kind of turned into a great friendship and sparked many ideas that is the basis for the work of our non for profit that we just started called In the Neighborhood. I wish I had time to tell you all about the non for profit, but we're really here to talk about In the Neighborhood or about Whitecast. Um, but as a kind of high level look at uh, In the Neighborhood, uh, we really want to talk about difference makers. Inspire volunteerism. Um, and we also want to talk about the great things that are happening here in the Peoria area. We're self funded. Stacy and I have funded in the neighborhood, and um, that's because we believe in the power of community. So let's get back to Whitecast. In 2012, I started a blog about my real estate business, but I realized that I could do more if I had a community of bloggers rather than just doing it on my own site. I launched Peoria Life as a way for locals to write about things in the Peoria area. As the digital magazine grew, we had over 5,000 readers every month. Um, and we had ways to grow that were kind of crazy and eventually in the neighborhood merged with uh, the digital magazine and we started video podcasting. This utilized what I call conversational advertising, getting to know a person behind the business and organization that they benefit from Widecast as a collective. Today, Widecast is a live streaming production studio that broadcasts to multiple platforms. Our social media platforms, radio, TV, and it's what we call, again, Widecasting. Uh, we have three different brands under Widecast. Peoria Life is about people and events in the Peoria area. Peoria Professional, it's kind of an umbrella of our professional uh, clients. And under that is Quick Flicks, which are quick little videos. They're two and a half minute videos that you can use, any business can use, uh, to um, talk about their business. Whether it's elevator speeches, advertisements, tips, tricks, social media content, whatever you want, that's what Quick Flicks are. Lunch dreams are lunch and learns that are held at our location where you can um, do a lunch and learn right there and broadcast that across our, our networks um, or save it and use it as a pay-per-view. That's something that you can do. Um, Peoria Cast is uh, Peor Peoria professional interviewing where we talk about different uh, Peoria professional organizations and kind of highlight what they do. Our third brand within Widecast is Peoria Area Church and it's used for syndicating devotionals, church services, and all those kinds of things. My business challenges, well, helping understand the community can really ignite what you do, rather than just doing it by yourself. We are a community that helps out each other. So you can do your stream, anybody can live stream, right? They can grab a camera and, and live stream their, uh, whatever they want to do, their message. Um, but really understanding the exponential process of um, what a community can do for you. So you can take a year and build your own barn, or you can get a community together and build it in a week. It's 
it's that much of the static clock process. Um, we're also looking for um, salespeople or a salesperson, maybe somebody that's retired or has some free time that can come and do and work on commission to do some of the different things that we do. Uh, I'd love to talk to anybody that would be interested or have a connection in that area. Um, we'd also love the opportunity for you to spread what we're doing. And that means getting out your cell phones and, and liking us on Facebook and, and all of those. And finally, for the new not-for-profit, we're brand new, just made the transition into not-for-profit um, just this last week. So we're brand spanking new as far as that goes, even though we've been doing this for eight years. Um, is we're looking for grants and other ways to fund different things like arts and history and tell the story of what's going on here in Ukraine. What we do. Hopefully that explains it to us. Thank you. Any questions I can Tim, uh, you know, your alliance with Stacy, once the two of you started to get together and bounce ideas off of each other, is that how this what seems like maybe there was just a seed of something that you started out, but now it seems like you've just gone in many different directions and there are a lot of different ways that you are promoting many different aspects of uh, the Peoria area. But what was that like? So we have done up over 180 shows about community organizers, community events, lots of different things about Peoria, and we've gotten to know each other pretty well. Um, on each other and have fun with each other during the shows. Um, but I don't know, it, it's been a pretty cool organic thing that's really been created and we just got to the point last year when we're going, we can do something more. And one of the things that we're doing with that non-for-profit is we're planning on doing a volunteer fair that works with all of the different uh, organizations in the Peoria area to really show off what they do. Wow, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I personally love a lot of your different shows. And, Thank you. Uh, Kelly Schneider cracks me up. So if you just keep finding uh, interesting personalities, you just have a little She's spark. Uh, I, you know, I, I love it. it. Makes me want to tune in. So. So your shows, is is that an outreach too, or is, or is there a cost to those to get on them, or? It depends on the shows. Uh, generally, like in the neighborhood, that is something that we fund, Stacy and I fund. Um, there are some costs, and it depends on what you want to do. We'd have to talk through. So get a hold of you, yeah, yeah with, with your cool business card. Yeah, all right, thanks. thanks. What was the, um, did you start with just one branch and then that led to creating others? Like, did you start with Peoria Life first or Peoria Professional So, first? Um, the radio program and Peoria Life pretty much started at the same time. Uh, I was kind of inspired by a few different things and um, I've told you the story, but I fell into broadcasting on accident. I just asked a question, what if I did a radio show to a salesperson that I knew and I had no idea, no concept that I would do a show, but in talking to the station manager, he's like, we have an opening in two weeks, can you do it? And I'm like, uh, uh you see how nervous I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was just as nervous doing the first show, but um, it's been kind of wildfire. We've, we've kept going. 2015, um, we decided to bring the radio program to um, Peoria Life, and then within five five months, we had five different broadcasters broadcasting twenty hours of content every week. Sure, uh, two and five year outlook. What do you see Whitecast doing in the next? Uh, we're we're going to continue to grow. We're, we're bringing in great uh, content providers um, like this one right here. 
Uh, Ashley does a great job. I love what she does. But we're going to try and gather as many people that would broadcast and, and talk about what they do um, as, as much as we can. Um, in the neighborhoods, kind of, you know, kind of a symbiotic thing between in the neighborhood or between in, in the neighborhood and Widecast. Um, and I think Widecast is probably going to find even greater growth. Are, are there any other particular um, industries or activity groups or lifestyle organizations or anything like that that you are looking for or hoping to find to provide additional content or how does that how does um, that process work? right now I have an opening for somebody to do Peoria cast uh, which is our professional uh, where we come in and research and talk up to different businesses in the Peoria area. Um, I'm really open to a lot of different things. Um, one that I had been looking for for a long time uh, was somebody that did cooking and did a good job doing cooking and uh, found that. But we're open. Anything that you can do that tells your story as a business professional is is an amazing thing. Anything that we can do to show the great things that happen here in Peoria, that's really what we're about. Fantastic. Talk to me and we'll try to work something out. So what's your, um, um, how do you gain listeners? What's most beneficial for you? Most beneficial, we do a lot of different things. In the neighborhood, uh, utilizes a lot of widecast things. Um, the more stories that we can tell about different people uh, outside the box, uh, that's how we tend to grow more than anything. We don't do a whole lot of advertising except for what we do. Um, we, um, we do things like, we do all the videos for the St. Jude's runs. So if you've seen those this year, that's something that we in the neighborhood have actually done on Peoria Life and Whitecast. Um, I think we're going to see, again, more growth in that, that area there. Um, getting the word out is people telling other people is another great way to make sure. Well, if there aren't any other questions, the thing we like to ask at One Million Cups is, you know, Tim, how can we, the people in this room and in the local community, uh, help you take the next steps that you want to achieve uh, with uh, your operation? Old. Um, you know somebody that would be interested in getting their their word out as a business or an organization let us know and follow and please share everything that we do uh, go in and, and comment on the, the shows that we have because especially the ones that we were live streaming on Facebook uh, the more that people talk to each other within the chat uh, boost everything that we do Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much.